is the rational individual it was thought and he was capable of his own self uh, de uh, uh, determination and he is free of taking a decision which concerned his or her self so in order to develop his capacities the individual required freedom from all kinds of social political and economic restriction or constraint so the idea of the liberty means absence of the uh, restrictions so a special sphere of the autonomy of the individual developed here social organization of the individual is not alone and exist in relations with the other individual and required that a uh, an equal claim claim of other individual to their sphere of the autonomy should be recognized that the social contractualist that named hobbes locke and the rousseau they also put forward the idea of the and the notions of the liberty this means absence of the uh, restrictions at the same time they also proposed the framework within which individual freedom was as unfolded so that liberty which is commonly understood as the this means that this means freedom or the absence of the constraint or obstacle or restriction of the individual and is considered as the as a democratic idea has always been conceived as occurring within a set of the specific constraint in social relationship so this what is the meaning of this liberty liberty means freedom from or absence of the restriction or obstacle or and here a person may be considered free or at liberty to do something when he or her action and choices are not hindered or by those by other individual so it is important to understood that restriction or constraint refers to the impediments obstacles imposed by political or other authority so bondages slavery sub subjections to the laws may be seen as a referring to the condition of the own freedom or absence of the liberty so here uh, the understanding of the liberty as absence of the uh, restriction of absence of the external constraint is generally described as the positive there are two notions of the liberty what is positive notions of the liberty positive notions of the liberty means there are some uh, restrictions we have to enjoy our liberty and let the other individual to enjoy their liberty and other aspect negative aspect is that the individual is free from restriction he is free to do whatever he or she likes so negative nature of the liberty appears in two different senses in the first law it is seen as the main obstacle to the freedom thomas hobbes a political thinker described freedom as the license of the law it is the license of the law freedom kha uchi ita gude license of the law ame law bhitare ame nije freedom ta ko enjoy kari pariba such a view sees freedom as limited only by what other deliberately prevent individual from doing so these notions therefore appear to imply a, a definite limited upon both law and the government philosophers like john locke pointed out that a commitment to liberty does not mean that law should be abolished this this uh, does not mean that law should be ab abolished we have to enjoy our liberty on the guidance on, on under the periphery of the law it means that law should be restricted to the protection of the one's liberty from the encroachment by the other so law suggested that law does not restrict liberty it rather enlarges and defend liberty so the second view of the liberty is that liberty is freedom of the choice milton friedman in his work the capitalism and freedom which was published in the year 1962 he proposes that economic freedom consists of freedom of the choice in the marketplace the freedom of the consumers to choose what to buy what they have to buy the freedom of the workers to choose his job 
or professions and the freedom of the producers to choose what to produce and to whom whom to employ so to choose here implies that the individual can make unhindered and the voluntary selection from a range of the different options the individual have to choose some things so this is the negative and the positive notions of the liberty the negative conceptions of the liberty is a characteristic of the uh, english political philosopher that jeremy bentham james mill j s mill henry sidwick herbert spencer and uh, other classical and the new classical economics they supported the claims of the individual to break free from unnecessary restrictions or arbitrary government so the main political notions of the negative liberty that was that everyone know his own interest best everyone know their own interest best and the state should not decide the individual ends and the purposes so uh, now we will uh, uh, look at the jes mill notion of the liberty jes mill for idea about the liberty here jes mill uh, in his book on liberty was influential in the uh, academic debate in the 1960s and the mill's work is seen as an exposition of the negative concept of the liberty tankar jo bohi se on liberty lekhi gele se jagar se actually he have written about the expositions of the negative concepts of the liberty and the basics of the mills argument for individual liberty a strong sense of the concepts of the custom and the legal rules norms which could not be rationally justified legal rules customs it uh, it, it could not be rationally justified it also sometimes argued that for mill any free action however it may be immoral had some elements of the virtue in it and by the fact that it was freely performed so mill considered restraints on the individual actions evils and he did not consider restriction or constraints to be entirely unjustifiable restriction is not entirely justifiable according to js mill so he felt that within the society there was always a presumption in favor of the liberty any constraints on the liberty therefore had to justified by those who applied them so for mill the purpose of the liberty was to encourage the attainment of the individuality individuality here refers to the distinctive and the unique character of each human so free, freedom means the realization of his individuality that is personal growth or self uh, determination so it was the property of the individual in the human human beings that made them active rather than passive so and critical of the existing modes of the social behavior enabling them to refuse to accept convention unless they they were found reasonable and another thinker uh no j j here jes mill again um, justified that in the framework appears not simply as absence of the restraint but deliberate cultivation of certain desirable attitudes so it is because of this that mill is often seen as a gravitating towards a positive conceptions of the liberty positive conceptions of the liberty liberty ame enjoy karuchu with some restriction so mills conception of the freedom is the root of the notions of the choice so it is evident from his belief that a person who lets other choose his plan of the life for him does not display the faculty of the individuality or self determination so here self determination occupies the important place so mill distinguish between Uh, two actions one is self regarding action and other is other regarding action self regarding action and other regarding actions that is action which affects the individual only the action which affects the individual only is self regarding actions and any restriction or interference with an individual could be justified only to prevent harm to the others and over that action affected only himself that the individual was 
Sobhan. This is the self regarding actions and other regarding action. Uh, now we'll discuss about the Isaac Berlin's ideas of the liberty. That two concepts of the liberty. Uh, two concept of the liberty was published. I, Isaac Berlin two concept of liberty was published in 1958, and here. He tries to reconcile the negative notions of the liberty and the positive notions of the liberty here. That is the notion of the liberty as the absence of the rest and with various views pertaining to its operation within the social context. For Berlin, the negative notions of the liberty can be understood by addressing the following question that what is the area within which the subject, a person, or group of person should be left to do or be what is able to be without interference by other persons. So here that positive liberty does not interpret the individual as simply being left alone, but self-mastery. So the theory involves a social theory of the self. The personality is divided into a higher and a lower self. The higher self is the source of an individual genuine and rational long-term goals. While the lower self here emerges from his irrational desire, which are short-lived. Lower self, it ranges from the lower self, which are short-lived and the transient in nature. It can be removed, it can be go away. So a person is free to the extent that his higher self is in command of his lower self. Always the higher self is in command with the lower self. Thus a, no, thus a person might be free in the sense of not being restrained by the external forces, but remains a slave to irrational. Attitude, that is a drug addict, an alcoholic, or a compulsive gambler might be said to be unfair here. Now we'll discuss about the Marxist critic and the idea of the freedom. Uh, according to the Marxist theory, the total society in the in the society, two classes of the peoples are living. One section, the capitalist class, they are the rich classes of the society, and other they are the poor classes of the people. They are the bourgeois, bourgeois classes of the people. Sorry, they are the proletariat classes of the people. They are the poor section. And here, uh, the liberal view, the opposite sides of the Marxist view, it, it is based on the centrality of the individual. It always, always focuses on the individual and freedom of the choice. But on the other hand, the Marxist notion it would see the notion of the liberty based on the liberal notion of the individual and the society as conditions of the in freedom. Individual is a society where freedom taku liberty ku dekhuji taku kuji on on freedom. Where the Marxist, according to the for Marxist, the individual is not separated from other individual of the society. Good individual, a good individual, the society can be separate by the boundaries of the autonomous space of free exercise of the choices. So they are, they are rather bound together in mutual independence because the Marxist theory always focuses on the community, not on the particular individual. So the notion of the individuality is likewise transferred into a notion of the rich individuality, which emphasizes the social embeddedness of the individuals. And the idea that the individual can reach a state of the creative excellence and develop their capacities only in a society which seeks the development of all its members. So the Marxist freedom lies in the development of the creative individuality. According to the Marxist, what is freedom? Freedom lies in the development of the creative individuality and it cannot be achieved in a capitalist society where the individual are separated by the boundaries of the self-interest and they uh, and uh, where they can only imagine themselves to be free when in reality they are bound by structure of the exploitations. So it is only in a society which is free from the self-promotion of the private interest that a state of the freedom can exist. So freedom thus cannot be achieved in a capitalist society 
Karl Marx in his uh, in uh, Karl Karl Marx says that in that society this alienates the individual from the true self. It separates him from the creative influence of the society. So it was only in a communist society where the means of the production were socially owned and each member of the society worked in cooperation with other for the development of all that here then true freedom can be possible and in that society in that communist society the individual can achieve true freedom so marx framework freedom is seen as a positive sense here self fulfillment self realization realization of the one true nature so marx describes the true realm of the freedom as the development of the freedom for its own sex own sex so this potential could be realized that marx believed only by the expense of the creative labor working together with other to satisfy their own needs at that time they can enjoy the true nature of the liberty only in a communist society only in, only in a classless society only in a stateless society there are different contemporary ideas of the liberty apart from Isaac Berlin uh, work is perhaps the most important works among the contemporary works of the liberty and there are other other thinkers they are also described about different notions of the liberty and then Milton Friedman Mill Berlin a liberal who in his work capitalism and a freedom developed a notion of the liberty as a significant aspect of a capitalist society so freedom of the extent was an essential aspect of the liberty. So, to promote freedom, Friedman required that the state to give up his concern for welfare and social security. The state have to give up his concern for welfare and social security and devote itself to maintaining law and order, promoting property rights, implementing contract on it. For Friedman, not only was liberty essential for free and the voluntary exchange of the individual or among the individual. It was only within a capitalist society that this type of the freedom can only be achieved. Moreover, it was the economic freedom that provided the opportunities and it is the essential condition for political liberty. Economic freedom provides the political liberty. So, uh, F. A. Hayek, uh, in his work, The Constitution of the Liberty, which was published in the year 1960s, that has propounded a theory of the liberty which emphasizes the negative role of the state. For Hayek, a state of the liberty is achieved when the individual is not subject to the arbitrary will of another individual. F. A. Hayek called this individual freedom and he distinguishes it from other forms of the freedom. And established at the same time the primacy and independence of the individual liberty from other forms or freedom including political freedom if he had here says the original meaning of the liberty means the absence of the restriction or restraint and it should be preserved this view should be preserved so uh, and another group of the thinker they influenced by the Marxist notion of the freedom. They emphasize that liberty as practiced in the modern capitalist society. And this, the liberty which was practiced in the modern capitalist society, this breeds lo loneliness. All these are different notions of the liberty. Now, uh, we will uh, shift to a uh, unit second, that is liberty as self-determination, liberty as self-determination. Uh, what is this? Uh, now we will read. So, self-determination means that an individual possesses the right to freedom and it must be able to determine all the choices, how they have to live, Cho choices of the life. While the state has no role to, no role or interference on any kind to save those choices. The individual has their own life to determine their life that is self-determination. 
so self determination means that an individual has full ownership over his life the individual has full ownership over his life and nobody and no one including the state can interfere the state cannot interfere in the life and the liberty of the individual with the choices made by the individual the choices are sold is the individuals from the conceptual point of the view it means that the individual is responsible to plan life according to his or her own conscious decision freedom to make a choice lets dignity of the individual if a decision is imposed it involves violation of the individual rights if a decision is imposed the decision will be taken by the government then it violates the individual rights dignity and autonomy okay so views on the jess mill th greens on liberty according to jess mill according to jess mill the relationship between the liberty and the individual is explained in the in the following words that they says that the only part of the conduct of anyone for which he is amenable to society is that which concerns other which merely concern himself his independence is of right or absence over himself over his own body and mind the individual is sovereign over himself over his own body and mind the individual is sovereign so here mill emphasizes that the individuals right to the freedom he differentiate between the negative and the positive liberty so negative liberty according to uh, mill that it is an area where the state has no role to interfere except the self defense and the individual can exercise complete freedom in determining his own choices the individual is free to determine in his own choices but positive notions here says that the rational self determination so where the state in interference to the grant the greatest amount of the freedom to boost individual creative energies that is self development so in order to check the state interference in order to stop the state interference and maximize the potential of the individual and to improve the in, to develop the individual potentialities mill also distinguishes between self regarding action and other regarding action self regarding action concerns solely as an individual whereas other regarding action is in, exclusive of concerns of the other it is the concerns of the other self other regarding actions so t h green other political scientist he developed the positive concept of the liberty he here t h green emphasized that an individual can determine his action he can determine only his actions if the state plays a positive role in creating condition under which he can exercise his moral freedom then Isaac Berlin's two concepts of the liberty. Isaac Berlin, in his book "Two Concepts of the Liberty," which was published in the year 1958, here Berlin explains about the negative liberty. What is negative liberty? Negative liberty is freedom from Hello. interference. Hello. Yes. Ha, uh, madam, got a minute, Kali. Sir. Ha. Uh. all the students are requested to join at least uh, 15 in number 15 janaru kam hele class ame band kari debu kai na class ta ignore guidelines hisab re um, less than 10 hele class uh, stop kar diya habo e jo class diya hauchi eta rc bhuvneshwar uh, taraf ru diya hauchi eta ko particular study center no eta pura rc bhuvneshwar under re jete study center achanti अराउंड सेवेन हंड्रेड पिला निजे एस एम एस पठे आरसी भुवनेश्वर भी मेल जा मेल कर ट्वेंटी रु थी पिला पर्सनाली ह्वाट्सअप फोन करी कंटाक्ट करी क्लास अटेड करने जदि एटेडान्स बिलो सेवेन एट र्लास को कंटिन्यू करवा इट्स क्वैट इम्पसिबल सो अल द स्टूडेंट्स दोज हुआ प्रेजेन्ट इन द मीटिंग टूडे I request them all uh, kindly inform your friends and uh, those who who you know. At least the attendance should go uh, beyond ten. At least, otherwise we will be forced to stop the class. And then if you request RC, there will be no 
uh, nothing that the, your request will be meaningless and one more request those who are joining you must write down your enrollment number and um, your name in the chat box that will be kept for uh, attendance purpose that will be counted as your attendance so at least you uh, before leaving the meeting you should uh, write down your names and enroll enrollment numbers okay and if you have any problem uh, regarding understanding the class or uh, any anything you you are free to ask or you can write in the chat box so that madam will know that and i will uh, try to solve your problems any questions queries you are free to ask it's not a single way of communication you can also participate so that is uh, your duty uh, thank you all i hope uh, the number of attendance will increase in the uh, coming classes thank you hello hello sir yes hello ha ah, sir yes, mo yes. uh, enroll number uh, number sir jana nahi mate kinde jana pon enrollment number mor kon achi nahi enrollment number i card mile ni na to sir kiji mile na i card ha okay khali na ta o rc jo regional center ta likhi de hala उंट कर ना ठीक है सर मो नाउ स्टडी सेंटर रो कोड लेके दे भी हो हां ठीक है ठीक है ओके ओके सर थैंक यू यस मैडम यू मे नो यस सर नाउ वी विल रीड अबाउट द आइजक बर्लिन्स आइजक बर्लिन्स टू कांसेप्ट ऑफ द लिबर्टी देन आइजक बर्लिन टू कांसेप्ट ऑफ द लिबर्टी इज हिज बुक्स एंड दिस बुक वाज पब्लिश्ड इन ईयर 1958 एंड इन दिस बुक बर्लिन एक्सप्लेन्स negative liberty he say about said about the negative liberty and this means that as freedom from interference nobody have to interfere other so it is the freedom from what or whom freedom from what or whom so an individual is the best judge of his interest he knows what is good for him or her and he or she has the freedom to develop and carry out his work without any hurdle or without any coercion or obstacle so positive liberty is an idea of self mastery or here it is a rational control of the life where an individual can self determine his own actions so the state has no role to play in it the state has no role here so it belongs to an individual's own will and the capacity to develop his own capacities you know individual se nishku nije develop kari paribo in this view for example if an individual wants to improve his health then smoking should be stopped so the state cannot do anything in this or it can force it never forced an individual to quit smoking it is the individual's own activity so the individual himself should develop his self mastery or control his life so that his capacities are developed here now we will read about the liberal new new liberal notions of the new liberal notions of the liberty new liberalism that also known as new classical liberalism it was started in 1970s this revive the economics liberalism its main proponent were margaret thatcher ronald reagan they wanted to increase economics growth they wanted to increase economic growth and reduce the fiscal deficits of the government's budget so the aim was to cut down the role of the government the aim was to reduce the role of the government cut down the role of the government and enhance the role of the market so minimum government interference 
it become the underlying characteristic of new liberalism free market economic such as friedrich hayek and us economic milton friedman they attack the role of the government they try to minimize the role of the government here no, robert nozick was committed to night watchman state robert nozick another political scientist was committed to the night watchman state night watchman state means the the uh, state have minimum role in the activities of the individual only the state have to protect the rights and the liberties of the individual the state have to perform the functions like a policeman f a hayek in his work the constitution of the liberty he argued that man possesses liberty or the freedom when he is not subjected to the coercion by the arbitrary will of the another how kar arbitrary will ra se shikar no ho jodi shikar hobo se thik bhabare ta liberty or freedom enjoy kari paru nahi so here f a hayek described that individual freedom is not political freedom inner freedom the freedom is power in a politically free society people can choose their government can participate in the legislation and have a control over administration but this may not lead to individual freedom a democratic government may have restriction and a autocratic government can be relatively free he further said that individual freedom is not inner freedom an individual might be guided by his actions and will rather than be forced by other or forced by other but that does not mean that society is free to allow rational discourse of the action individual freedom should not be confused with the freedom of the power so freedom of the power signifies our power to act according to our own wishes and own desire an individual may have the effective power to get thing done and that he might not be able to do legally but that signifies that a society is free in its actions according to f a hayek an individual will be able to self determine if there exists freedom from constraint of the state freedom from constraint or obstacles of the state so f a hayek argue to minimize the coercive actions of the state uh, it is not an instrument or distributive uh, distributing justice or distributive justice so liberty and equality are antithesis to each other liberty and equality are antithesis to each other a state cannot force a society that different talents and skills to be equal as it will create further inequality so jodi liberty no ba equality or all these are complementary to each other in robert nozick in his work anarchy state and utopia and this work was published in 1974 here he stated that an individual can enjoy the liberty of self determination only if the state performs limited function liberty of self determinations then if the individual performs limited functions less numbers of the functions then here the promotion the here in that condition the protection of the property of the individual can be possible so it is not the duty of the state to engage the distributive transfer as the inequalities that exist at the time of the production should be corrected at the time of the distributions then marxist conception of the freedom what marxist say about the conception of the freedom the marxist uh, say that socio economics condition prevailing in the society defines freedom of the self de uh, determines the socio economic condition which are prevailed in the ongoing society that define the freedom to self determine karl marx he says that capitalist mode of the production is an exploitative system it is shoshan karuchi the capitalist system according to karl marx it is deprives an individual of his freedom the capitalist system deprives the individuals freedom so he bases his theory on historical materialism saying that economy has been the foundation of the every society 
he historically traced that the development of the society where earlier in ancient society people were free and equal and they had access to goods to satisfy their basic needs but as the society moved further they acquired the means of the production like machinery tools resources industry and division was the created so the society that came after the ancient society that is the feudal society first ancient society after that there is feudalistic society where there was landlords who possess lands and the landless serf landless serf means one type of the worker laborer and after the feudal society came the industrial society that is the modern society and where the division was between the industry and the capital wing bourgeoisie and the poor who are earning proletariat so marx says that an individual cannot enjoy freedom and self determined his actions in feudal and the capitalist society because he does not have the access to the resources and feels alienated a capitalist sells the product at a higher rate in the modern society the capitalist sells their product at a higher rate and appropriating the surplus value nije surplus value ta capitalist nijer pakre rakhu chi only the one it eco stanza se the labor sections man ku dau chi and the surplus value that giving the lower wages to the proletariat so marx says that an individual can attain freedom only if he revolts against the capitalist system of the production jetebele revolution sebo setebele jaki se man ta ko kichi freedom pai paribe ke the labor classes he gave an international call here marx says that the labor classes they have to call they have to give an international call to the workers and said that the workers of the all lands unit the workers of the all will have to be united together and after that they have to revolt against the capitalist class and destroy the capitalistic structure and capitalist modes of the production and in the transitional period when there is the destruction of the capitalism or de uh, destruction of the capitalist system and the uh, and the standing of the socialist system in this transitional stage there is the dictatorship of the proletariat class and here and after the establishment of a socialist society then proper freedom of the individual can be possible when there is no class when there is nationalization of the private property then the individual can achieve freedom and after that there was the establishment of a communist society and in that communist society there is no class there is no class there is no state there was abolition of state also and here the individual are free so marx says that an individual can realize himself truly only in a communist society this is the marxist notion then new new marxist such as harvard marcus in his work one dimensional man studies in the ideology of the advanced industrial society blamed the consumeristic society for depriving individual of their real freedom he says that the mass media creates a false desire for tribal material goods thus uh, thus this diverting them from the genuine need of the freedom so he says that an individual should be made aware of alienation to realize freedom now we'll discuss john rolls conception of the freedom john john rolls in his work a theory of the justice he have written a book the name of the book is theory of the justice and it is the starting point of all the contemporary philosophers he is a purely um, procedural theory of the justice and follows a dentonological approach and the, this is an approach where the goal is not determined jagar a goal ta determined he kari rakhna hai a positive and a social liberal he states that an individual can be free the individual can be free and self determine the course of the actions if the foundations of the society is based on the primitive principle of the justice it means justice kon boli determine karuchanti this is jo individual ko 
जो जस्टिस कौन बोले कहते से इंडिविजुआल पाखे से किसी जाणी ना अब द क्लास क्लास स्ट्रक्चर अफ द सोसायटी से इंडिविजुआल इज अंडर द हिल्स अफ द इग्नोरेन्स गोटे कला पर्दा तार आखि आगे रोच डिड कर जस्टिस He calls this is the original positions. This is the original position after the veil of the ignorance. He calls it the original positions, which is similar to the state of nature. This veil hides the real positions of the individual. This veil hides the real positions of the individual in the society in terms that he is not aware of his status, wealth, health, resources, education, family, and support system and strength. Weaknesses and qualities, etc. In this situation, an individual will have some primitive idea of the human psychology and economics, and have a sense of the justice. That is, the justice can be given. And according to Rawls, rational nego negotiation will demand maximum benefit for the best advantages, so that the veils of the ignorance will be removed, and individual will move out of his original position. It happens that a person might have exceptional qualities. and he might desire to have maximum freedom to pursue his dreams to pursue his ambitions so any rational individual will first desire maximum liberty a rational individual they have first desire maximum liberty as the first principle of the justice this is the first principle of the justice and then the next second principle of the justice is that justice will be quality of the opportunity it is the equality of the opportunity to everyone in the society equality of the opportunity to everyone in the society will desire to have equal access to the resources and opportunities and the, in the society without any discrimination or without any exploitation samast society re equal um, equal opportunity pai paribe then the third principle of the justice is that difference principles when the veils of the ignorance get removed in case any individual is in a disadvantaged position in the society like differently abled poor access to the education health then the state should give protections to that individual so differential treatment may be states that is a, this is the primitive and this is the man for the individual to realize freedom fully the rules therefore says that the freedom of the self determinations can be achieved when a society follows these three universal principles of the justice amartya sense concepts of the liberty amartya sense concepts of the liberty amartya sense jo concept of liberty dei jaanti this offers the concept of the capacity the capacity individual or capacity ko group dau jaanti amartya sense offers that capacity approach for the realization of the freedom he says that the provision of such social infrastructure such as education health employment might not lead to free individual he adds that fulfilling the demands of the people according to their needs fulfilling the demands of the people according to their needs it will also not lead to the freedom amartya sen asserts that an individual can truly realize his freedom if he develops his own capacity individual can realize his freedom only they develop their own capacity he advocated amartya sen advocated the capacity based approach to attain liberty for self determination so he explains that even if a government has provided with school teachers infrastructure for education of the children but still if the child is unable to read write and count the provision of the social capital will become irrelevant for a child to realize his freedom fully he should develop his skill and capacities so that he can grow and develop if the child has developed his capacity and can read and write then that child will be free to write a book read a novel solve a puzzle and study in, in engineering or any type of the medical stream but if no capacities of the child if there is no capacities of the child are built then the child will be deprived of all their freedom then feminist conceptions of the 
freedom. Feminists state that true freedom can be realized in a society when social and economic opportunities are extended to the women. When the women are capable in socially uh, and economically, then freedom can be possible in the feminist society. They argued that women are disadvantages because of the difference in their biology. They further state that the social and the economic and the political role of the women are not natural. It's the society that has confined the role of the women to household work and men to the economic sphere. So the central theme of the fem feminism revolves around the public and the private divide, the patriarchy, the sex and gender, and equality and the differences. So feminists, they talk about breaking the public and the private divide to grant liberty of all, irrespective of the biological sexes. So breaking down of the public and the private sphere will also mean that transforming the responsibilities to the state and with attend provision of the people's welfare, welfare of the women and providing supports in form of the that that um, nursery system should be there in the school. Feminists have also attacked patriarchal society that has deprived women of their real freedom. In a male-dominated society, it is the brother, father, and the husband who decides for the woman, not the woman in, uh, her, herself. So women cannot determine, uh, uh, determine their real selves as a man's decision is considered in his supremes. So feminist celebrates, so, so uh, fe uh, feminist here, they elaborate on the sex and gender classification. Sex is the biological differences between the male and the female, whereas gender is a social uh, con construction. It means that the role of the man and the woman is defined by the society. So it is that society that says that the woman should take care of their family, household, and their uh, uh, relationship. So how freedom is possible in a feminist society? Here, liberal feminist, there are different types of the feminist, liberal feminist, uh, radical feminist, new fem feminist also. So liberal feminist, they focuses on the equal political rights and the equality in the public sphere. Social feminist, they talk about the removal of the social and economic inequality so that the freedom can be granted to the women. But radical feminist, they emphasize abolition of the family life. They are radical and they refuse to bear and rear children. But a new feminism is in, in, inclusive of the black feminism and that underlines the rights of the black women and lesbian feminism that talks about the freedom of the free, freedom of the sexual rights. Then conservative view of the liberty. Conservatism or conservatism basically means to conserve, to preserve. Conservative highlight that individuals can achieve liberty to self-determine if the order and the discipline is maintained in the society, if the order and discipline is maintained in the society. But conservative belief that humans are imperfect and order and discipline can be attained in the society if the tradition are followed in an organic society is maintained, hierarchy and authority are respected and the property is protected. But conservative are scarce of the change. They never allowed for the change. It is a journey into the unknown that led to the instability and disorder in the societies when a change to support Purnahanti. Then instability they pare, disorder they pare in the society. So there has been a little change in the basic idea of the conservatism. It must work. A conservative scholar. He believed in the change in order to conserve. He said that the change is the law of the nature and one should accommodate change so that the tradition remains sustained, but change should not create disorder in the society. Then postmodern conception of the liberty. Postmodernist, they say that the individual will be able to realize freedom if they are able to reject the established system of the knowledge and information. If they are able to reject the established system of the knowledge and the information and asserts their own knowledge. Postmodernists believe that knowledge is partial 
and Lokan. Every society at its own truth. There is no universal truth. There exists a complex power knowledge system where a certain truth is created to favor a particular section of the society. The dominant sections of the society do not allow a certain thought or views to come in society as it is again, as all are against them. Postmodernists asked for rejection of the hierarchy. They asked for the rejection of the hierarchy of the ideas. And they also reject political and the social hierarchy. They are anti-fundamentalist in that they are no universal. They are anti-fundamentalist in that there are no universal moral and the political principles. So universality of the idea is an act of the arrogance. Therefore, postmodernist says that every individual or the society should create their own truth or search and establish their own truth. And that, that is when individual will have the liberty of the self-determinations. Uh, then we will move to the third unit, alienation, oppression, and the freedom. Important issues, freedom of the belief, expression, and the dissents. Here, here in this unit, we will read about the alienations. The term alienation, what is alienation? Alienation is originating from the Latin word alias, a -L -I -U -S, alias, which means an, which means an other. It is also translated as the estrangement, a state in which a thing is separated through its own act from something else that used to belong to it. So that these other things comes from the self-sufficient and turns against original owner. But so alienation involves three constituent elements. One is a subject, an object, and the relations between them. This is the this is alienation. Different uh, views of the uh, different thinkers on the on alien alienation. That uh, from the primitive idea, the idea of the alienation here. Mm, this elaborates about that the idea of the alienation may be traced to the Christian doctrine of the original sins. When the creation of the God, the Adam and Eve, they disobeyed God and ate the forbidden apple in the Eden Garden. And then the alienation from God happened. A brace was made. Estrangement was introduced. Those who were once friends now became separated. Similarly, in Jean Jack Rousseau's theory of the social contract, the individual in a state of nature, they relinquish their natural freedom. They have to leave their natural freedom and original goodness in favor of the civil freedom. And they acquire selfishness to enter a social state. They enter into the social contract. And these are the first stage of the alienations of the human being from their inborn character. Then G.W. F. Hegel, the development of the absolute idea is a process of the alienating or estranging ideas in the natural world and then de-alienating or recovering from a higher stage. Tangor Jitabla thesis, antithesis and synthesis re idea ta move karuchi. It moved in a zigzag manner. That is thesis, then there is a tussle between the thesis and antithesis, then there is creation of the synthesis. If the synthesis is not perfect, then they have to, they have moved to the ultimate goal or perfections. And then there is a tussle between the antithesis, uh, thesis and antithesis, then final uh, synthesis will create. Then the, this, the process of the alienation and the de-alienation, de-alienation, this corresponds to the process of the growth of the human knowledge. Karl Marx claims that alienation is a universal phenomena of capitalist society. It is a universal phenomena of capitalist societies rooted in the alienation of the workers from their products of the laborer. So in capitalism, these products take the form of the community, money, and the capital. For, for Marx, Karl Marx, alienation can only be overcome by replacing capitalism by communism. Then 
According to Karl Marx, there are four aspects of the alienation experienced by workers in a capitalist society. First, alienation from the product of the labor. Then second, alienation from the labor process. Then third, alienation from fellow human beings. Then alienation from the human nature itself. Then alienation from the human nature himself. Then here, alienation from the product of the labor. What does it mean? The worker is alienated from the object of the worker produces because it is owned and disposed by another that is the capitalist. That's why they revolt against the capitalist and finally achieved a classless society. Then alienation from the labor process. This means that uh, Marx identified there is a lack of the control over the process of the production. The workers have no says over the condition in which they work. They are working in a very, uh, very miserable condition in a slum area. So this lack of the control over the work process transform worker capacity to work creatively into the opposite. So the worker extends activity or passivity, powers of the importance, procreation, etc. So the workers on physical and the mental energy, its personal life for what is life but activity. So they alienate from the labor process. Then alienation from the fellow, fellow human beings, that alienation arises in part because of the antagonism, which inevitably arises from the class structure of the society. Workers are alienated from those who exploit their labor and control the things they produce. Then alienation from the human nature means that the fourth element is that the alienation from the human nature itself. Then alienation from human nature, the fourth element is that, is that workers alienation from the human nature itself, they uh, makes us human is our ability to consciously the world around us. However, under capitalism, our labor is corrupt. There are forced labor. So the work bears no relationship to our personal inclusion or our collective interest. So the capitalist division progressively increased their ability to produce. So they eliminate under the capitalism, their ability is submerged under the private ownership and the class division is produced. Any doubts, any please ask, any clarifications? Is there the doubt such a Wind up, Karan, madam. Okay, sir. Ah. That's all. Thank you.